Hey, welcome back to Gifted Guitars. My name is Chris Ballinger. Today we are continuing our work on this Les Paul for my brother-in-law, Eric. This is part of a series of videos. This is the second episode. If you missed the last one, go ahead and check that one out first because today we're gonna be using one of the designs that we picked out from last week to put onto this guitar. I'm extremely nervous about it, but before I reveal which design I have decided, yeah, that's right. The suspense is not over yet. I used to work in television. I could I could just keep on going till the next commercial break. Anyway, before I do that, I need to open this kit up that I got online and figure out how to use it because I have never done wood burning before. Today's the day. This kit is made by Pausa, which to me just sounds like something that would show up on the screen in the 60s version of Batman. Wow. That's a lot more stuff than I was expecting. So this is the pen that does the burning. Colored pencils, probably won't be using these. Transfer paper, little design stencils, instructions. Things to know before using the wood burning kit. Various tips, a pencil sharpener. More tips, okay. I don't know what the difference is really, but wow, that's a lot of tips in there. A wrench, and this is a stand. So we can lift that up like that and then while I'm not using this, it can sit in its little stand so it's not burning a hole through my table. It also came with a whole bunch of little testers and this is what I'm gonna be using right now because I need to learn how to do this and what each of these tips do before I start burning into the guitar. Okay, so first of all, this is a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I, I'm actually really enjoying this. It's a very cool little art form or craft form. I, I don't know what, what you would consider this. As you can tell, I used a cactus here. I went with the more cactusy design. I've practiced a little bit with this and I'm feeling confident enough that I can start to get the design on there. It really is a matter of like, figuring out the right speed to go at. I, I'm just gonna always use a really light touch and and try and be as accurate as I can and cover up my mistakes uh, by augmenting the design in whatever way I, I feel I need to. But I really like when, when I hold it for a while, the burn sort of goes into the wood a little bit more. And so for the outer outlines, I think I'm gonna hold it on there a little longer, try and get that burn look to happen. I have no idea how this is going to take to the type of wood that the guitar is. This is a very similar kind of wood, but I do know that this has a veneer on it. And a veneer is like paper thin wood. <laughs> So I don't know if it's just gonna like catch or like I could totally ruin this very nice guitar kit if um, 
if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna be careful, I'm gonna take my time with it, I'm gonna go nice and slow. But the first step, as always, is sanding. That's the little trick I do a lot on this channel. I'm gonna put some graphite from a pencil on the back of the tracing paper that I used and then use a stylus and press down anywhere that I put ink. And that is going to transfer the graphite from the back of the paper onto the guitar body and transfer the design onto the body of the guitar. To say I was nervous for this next part would be an understatement, but let's start burning the design into the guitar. This area here is going to get covered up by a tone knob, so um, I think I'll start here. That way if I make any mistakes or it just doesn't work out, then I can reassess. The design is now burnt into the guitar. I think that uh, went pretty well. I feel like there are a few areas where it actually went all the way through the laminate, which was frightening, but turned out okay. I like the look of it. It's very rustic and burny, and um, pretty much exactly what I was going for. So I'm gonna take a little moment to, to be proud of myself, which I might regret later, because the next step is even more nerve-wracking than burning the guitar. Here are a couple still pictures that I took of the guitar after I was finished with it. I usually take pictures like that to bring upstairs to show Jessica while I'm working on the guitar. After I've finished a part of it, I'll take a few pictures and bring them up and be like, hey, look at this, what do you think? So, uh, so I thought I'd share those with you today. 
that's gonna do it for today. The Pausa did its job. It, uh, it burned the guitar. Next week, I am going to be staining the guitar. That is something that I'm very nervous about. Staining guitars is completely different from painting guitars. I, I painted a lot of guitars, but staining guitars, that is, that, that's a whole new ball game. And I tried it on Rachel's guitar a while back and it did not work out very well. I don't know if you remember that, but I ended up completely repainting her guitar. I've already burned the etching into this guitar, so I don't really have the option of painting over it all because there's engraving marks in, in the actual wood, like there's indentations in the wood. I can't go back, so I have to get it right or get it close to right the first time. So I'm nervous about it, I'm excited about it, I hope that you join me. The best way to find out when I post that video is to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications. Subscribing is a really great way to support the channel, it doesn't cost you anything, but it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the videos that I'm putting out there, and it means a lot to me as well to see the subscriber count go up. It's like, oh wow, people are enjoying what I'm doing. So. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you liked it. And this week, I wanna know your suggestions for the next guitar that I build. What, what do you wanna see me do for the next guitar? Write it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you next time.